Hey, Art, I have a question. How do I talk to a flower shop that is already doing pay-per-click? Ask them what their results are. Are they getting 17 to 20% on average? Because we're running between 20 and 25%. So I think the difference becomes our results compared to theirs. I'd love to put them side by side. But if they're already marketing in pay-per-click, then we really should sit down and see are we a better option for them. What happens if they have a lovingly site? <laughs> you serious? Yeah, dead serious. How does that? That's, I, don't, I, don't talk, I wouldn't even talk to them. Because if you have a lovingly site, Holly, you're paying 17% of every order. Let me tell you what that means. They come in through a pay-per-click, mm -hmm. 17%. The local customer calls and places an order on the website, 17%. I wow. mean, you're always paying 17%. If the industry average profit is 10%, you need some areas of high margin to make up for the areas of low margin. Mm -hmm. So if they're paying 17% of every every transaction, they're getting clobbered. They have no brand recognition. They can't put anything on the website that doesn't turn a sale. So if they want to do like a special reward system program, announcements, do things that make their website local to their consumer local market, mm -hmm. they can't do anything but something that lovingly is going to feel like, okay, we can sell this. You can have it on your website. We you don't have any control. Wait a minute. You mean as the business owner, right. they can't go in and add something that, doesn't to, have a that, transaction value. No. that makes their their shop unique, a Not giveaway, points or something like that. Correct. If they have any kind of program really? that doesn't have anything to do with the transaction, uh -huh. they can't do anything with it. So 17%. So if you're working with us, we're going to do your pay-per-click and we're going to be accountable for what you get online. So if we're taking your dollars and we're investing it in clicks, we have to answer to your results. For example, Show me that one line you were looking at with the 2900 on it. What do you have for sales? 2900, 224. Okay, 224. So they spent $3,000 and yeah. they got 24. Wow. So, right. 24 at 18%, they're going to spend like $4,000 versus however, 29. However, that was only pay per click. Oh. They're spending 17 or 18% on every order. It, you know, a shop that's using. Lovingly, I hate to say it either um, they don't really understand their business, but some of these shops are really good shops. I have seen good shops using Lovingly because they really didn't think about it because it's a great sales pitch. 18, 17, 18% you don't have any costs, but you're paying it every single order. Sometimes, and you don't have control over it as the control. owner. So I, I don't know. I, I would take it one by one. Do I want to try it? If somebody feels like I don't have to do anything and I get something, that's not why you opened up your flower shop. You want to really do well. I want the shop that wants to maximize and create a great experience for their customers. So just don't push it. If they, if they got the lovingly, have a nice day unless they want to talk further about it. But it's just, it, they're just too used to, it just doesn't make any sense. I understand. Ways. Wow. Okay.